In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this really cool opening animation where the text appears from behind the skyline in Canva. And we'll also make a variant where you can click and use a rise animation. So there's two ways we can do it. And we're starting from a blank canvas. Now first we want to add a nice picture to the slide. So we go to elements and here we want to type in a skyline. So let's type New York skyline and then go to photos, see all. Here you can choose any skyline that you like, but preferably with a clean cut. So the cleaner the cut, the better the effect will be. I'll go for this blue one and drag it on the canvas. You can see here we have a very nice cutout of the buildings and the sky, so that will work perfectly fine. I'm going to duplicate the slide so that we have a spare copy to work with. And then on one of the two, I'm going to select the image and use the background remover. And this will remove the background from the image. I'm going to adjust the crop selection just a bit so we can make a differentiation. Select the image, Ctrl C and go to the first slide and paste it on top here. And this is why we have used that crop mark. So we can, if we select at the bottom, we select the cutout. And if we select at the top, we can select the background image. Now I'm going to add some text to the slide. So go to text, title. And here you can type in anything that you want. For example, a welcome if you open a presentation like this. Increase it in size and then go for a nice font. I'm using the Montserrat font and I'm going for black. Select the text and then add it to black. I'll go for the font color white and then let's position it somewhere on top here. Now we go to position, layers, and we want to drag it in between the two layers so that it sort of comes from behind. And now there's two things we can do. We can animate it in both ways. So we'll duplicate the page, go to the first slide, grab the text, so you can select it like this and then deselect, holding shift and deselect the cutout shape and then drag this one to the bottom. Go to thumbnail view, hover in between the slides, add transition and use match and move. Reduce the duration or increase the duration to about two seconds and let's preview. And this is how you can make this really cool effect whereas if you click, it will appear from behind the skyline. It's a pretty cool way to open up your presentation. Now there's also another way to animate it and that is if you only want to use one slide, for example. So I'll duplicate this here and let me delete those. So we have the final result. We select the text, deselect the cutout. You can also go to the position tab and then just select the text here. Then you go to animate and then for example, a rise animation. You can reduce the speed, but then you see it's not really coming from the bottom of the presentation. So depending on which style you prefer, these are both viable options and you can have it appear on click. So that way, if we preview now, this is the second version where you can click and it will rise into the slide. So depending if you like that fade effect or you want it to come from really behind all of the buildings, this is how you do it. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.